Welcome to the OPEX Metabolic Conditioning Principles and Progressions course. In this course, you're going to learn the four C's framework of Metcons so that you can progress your clients to sustainable results for a lifetime. But before we get to that, let's talk about OPEX Sustain. What is OPEX Sustain? It is our approach to sustainable aerobic training. And every time we talk about Metcons in this course, it's going to be through the lens of OPEX Sustain. Now, this is in comparison to unsustainable metabolic conditioning or high intensity HIIT training. And the reason that we stay away from really intense Metcons is that they're not conducive to long-term health. Chances are the majority of your clients are doing Metcons because they want to feel great, have good energy outside of the gym, look good naked, uh, be fitter for life, and have a long, healthy, full life. So unsustainable training can take away from that. It can cause some compensatory movement patterns. It can make it hard to recover. And most importantly of all, it is not sustainable and doesn't result in long-term progress. What does is sustainable aerobic work. Now, to ensure that your Metcons are always sustainable, there are four principles that I want you to remember throughout this course. Number one is repeatability. Everything your clients do, they should be able to do again. Let's say you have them do five minutes on an assault bike. If they rest for five minutes and come back and do it again for another five, they should be able to maintain the same pace on that second interval and repeat that multiple times. The same thing goes for if you're having them do a 30 minute AMRAP of thrusters, pull-ups and double unders. Throughout that 30 minutes, they should be able to maintain the same pace the entire time. Principle number two is slow to fast. When we're thinking about long-term progression of Metcons and the OPEX Sustain framework, we want to think about starting clients with slower efforts and progressing them to faster efforts over time. And the reason that this is so important is that it helps them build a great base and helps them develop the super important pacing skills they need to make sure more powerful efforts remain sustainable. Number three goes hand in hand with number two, and that's going from longer efforts to shorter efforts. On the long side, think about sustaining work for 60, 90 tw minutes, two hours, like a really long time, and then over time progressing that down where they're sustaining higher powered, faster in efforts for one minute, 30 seconds, two minutes, these shorter, more powerful intervals. And then number four is simple to complex. When you begin adding multiple modalities or mixed modalities to sustain training, you have to make sure that you start with simpler exercises and you move to more complex exercises over time. For example, on the left-hand side, a simple might be a plank hold. Next to that, a little bit more complex might be a push-up. And beside that, even more complex might be a burpee or a handstand push-up. So think simple to complex. Now you've learned the four principles of sustained training. It's time to move on to our four C's framework and learn how to progress Metcons for a lifetime.